Okay, what are we going to see at John R. MacArthur Wildlife Refuge? Dragonfly, a monarch, some frustrated fishermen, and that's about it. <laughs> not, not much happening in late October in these areas. Well, wait, what's that? Look at that. There's a butterfly. White peacock, guys. So there's our our first video evidence of a butterfly. And you're gonna focus for me. There it goes. Well, he's cool. Just he's just chilling. Yeah, he's waking up. He's drinking his coffee. Early morning. Early morning butterfly action. Cool. Well, we got something. White peacock. That's very common butterfly right there. You know, usually a place like this is teeming with white peacock butterflies. Alright, we are at Loxahatchee State Park and the idea is we wanted to see some butterflies but I've also got my cousins here from Long Island. What's up boys? What's up? Hello. <laughs> What's your names for the camera guys? Uh, Jose. Jose? Jorge. Jorge. Jose and Jorge. Easy to remember, right? Yeah. <laughs> Identical twins. Easy to remember. Alright, so Jorge wears green. I'll say where's blue. Yeah. Did I get that right? Yes. Okay, good. And you guys have never seen an alligator before, right? Nope. Okay, so we're gonna try. And, we're gonna try and see if we can make that happen. Um, I am a little depressed that it's probably almost 10 o'clock in the morning. We've walked this road now for a little bit, and I have not seen a single butterfly, which is actually is really actually astounding. Look, all the Bidens here on the side of the road. There's a lot of, uh, there should be butterflies, guys. There should be something here. Um, and I don't see anything. I don't see any alligators either. So usually, usually this is the place to see them. Not yet, but we'll, we'll see if we can get you guys into some uh, alligator action. <laughs> all right, we are on top of the berm. And uh, there's a little spillway here. There's just a lot of old eelgrass. Huh? Is that an alligator moving in the water? Is it an alligator moving in the water? Where at? No, usually their heads will pop up. Those are fish. Yeah, so we've got our little spillway that comes up underneath here. This is Loxahatchee. Preserve right here. This dirt trail goes all the way out into into the whatnot, and um, and thus far we have not seen an alligator. Well, I think we saw an alligator driving in, but but we couldn't really stop and look for him. But I, I'm a little disappointed because there's all these Biden flowers all on the sides of the road, and I still have not seen. Oh, there's a finch. Huh? On top? Those are uh, lily pads. Yep. There's a little finch. What's that finch? Uh, you know it's uh, November, almost November when all the little tiny finches start showing up. They're migrating through. Or like a warbler or something. I don't know, I'm not a little tiny warbler or finch expert, but I think that's a warbler of some sort. No butterfly EOL yet, guys. Where are we going to get into our first butterfly action? <laughs> All right, boys, what do you guys think about this place here? It's pretty cool, bro. There's a lot of water. A lot of water? Yeah, yeah. here's the thing, though. What do, you, what do we do if we see an alligator? What, what do you do if you see an alligator? Yeah. Um, take pictures. Smile at them. Rub his belly. 
They like marshmallows, I heard. <laughs> well, my looks like a marshmallow. He looks like a marshmallow? Yep. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, you don't touch them. You don't mess with them. But they're really not interested in hurting anybody. Um, you know, they eat mostly small fish. Apple snails. The small ones eat apple snails. Small fish. Little turtles. Little birds. You know, but like a... Big, big guy, big fat guys like me. They don't. They're not. They're not really interested in that fight. <laughs> they're not interested in that fight. So, all right, guys. I'm gonna say let's move on. Hi. There's a monarch floating across the. Uh, oh, the sky. Well, you know it's you know it's fall when you see monarchs in South Florida. The first butterfly you see in the day is a monarch. It's it's they're migrating. It's November, almost November, late October, and uh, that's about all we got. We got some dudes over here fishing. I haven't seen them catch anything yet, but good luck, guys. All right, guys, I see my first butterfly outside of the park boundaries. So I'm gonna get this white peacock. Okay. White peacock, common butterfly throughout Florida. In a couple hours, he's gonna get released at my daughter's quinceanera. Butterfly release. Here's what I'm gonna do. Take him. Let's see. Butterfly number one. Let's see if we can get a couple more. I'd like to get, you know, three or four more butterflies if I can to have a cool little release and we'll get some video, signify the uh, significance, the beauty of, oh, Viceroy. How cool is that? Um, Viceroy. Viceroy, Viceroy, Viceroy. Viceroy, Viceroy, Viceroy. Viceroy, Viceroy, Viceroy. He's gonna fly across the wood thing. Oh, gone it. Well, I saw a viceroy. I think that would have been my first wild viceroy on Keys Mods. Hopefully, we caught that on video a little bit. I'm filming, but he went over uh, over the canal and over the berm. <sighs> oh well. All right, guys. I'd like to catch three or four more butterflies for Sophia's butterfly release let's see what we can find here we pulled over at this berm to see if there's any butterflies i don't see butterflies but there's a great big there's a beehive for sure and i am about to go in there nobody's allergic to bees are they no okay. well they're flying under the, the beehives underneath the concrete here Nope, I ain't messing with them. I ain't coming to no. Florida to get. No, you don't want to go to the Quince all swollen faced. Exactly. <laughs> no butterflies, guys. This is a it's pretty weird. It's like temperatures in the lower eighties right now. It's probably ten thirty AM late October. Uh, South Florida. We haven't had any real heavy cold snaps. And just not seeing a whole lot of uh, butterfly activity. It's kind of weird. Um, it's been a long time since I've been on this road. The last time I was here was a couple decades ago, I think. And none of these houses developments were here. This is a road that we used to come on when I was a kid looking for bugs. And um, yeah, Parkland has grown up since then. This was all just farmland and tree farms. Uh-oh. Thinks he sees a butterfly. Let's see. Where are we looking? On the flower? Yeah. Which flower? Let's see. I don't see one, but... Oh. oh, look at that. That is a butterfly. Good eye, bro. That is called the dainty sulfur. 
That is a tiny one, yeah. It is. Good eye, buddy. It blends in with the flower. Yeah. Like it was a petal or something. Yep, that's the dainty sulfur. Tiny little butterfly. And that guy is um, probably not worth for the quince yeah. butterfly release. Probably wouldn't see it. Nobody would see it. Not even the camera. Not even the camera. Not even the camera would see that one. Yeah, <laughs> only Jorge would see it. Only Jorge. No, it's good, man. Good spot. Yeah. That's good intuition there. What's that? I just saw it flying around. You saw it flying around? Perfect. That's butterfly intuition right there, buddy. Bye, friend. He went on that side. Man, that's ironic. Bro. Wow, bro. Wow. <laughs> I don't know what to say, man. It, that, it's, I'm a little rusty. I'm a little rusty. <laughs> Dude. What a, what a, oh, that was terrible. But damn. It was just there, too. Caught lagging on the Long Island camera. Dude. Ah, okay. Okay. He found something. He found something. What'd you find, bud? He found a what? Coconut. You found a coconut? Yeah. I'm going to punt it like a... Like You're going to punt it? Like now, is that something that you don't see in Long Island? No. No. Nope. You want to see bagels in Long Island. Bagels? Yeah. Well, I don't know if you want to punt that. Yeah. You're a soccer guy. You might really hurt yourself. I don't know how much flesh is in that, though. I think that's... He's spent... A good bit of water. <laughs> or milk, Rainwater or uh Rainwater or coconut water. Or coconut water. Be free. Be free, coconut. Okay. Onward. Yeah. Well, guys, we just got three zebras. So now we have three zebras and a white peacock. And we actually have what would probably be enough for a nice little butterfly release. All local butterflies. Saw some monarchs, but we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with monarchs and we're not gonna mess with stuff that's not really widespread and common. So uh, these guys are gonna be released here in the next several hours and uh, we'll keep them in a nice, cool, dark place so that they don't stress out and we'll get a release going and ha make everybody happy with butterflies. Sound good? Yes, yes sir. sir. Let's do it. <laughs> All right, there's two polydamus swallowtails. Let's see if I can get some of this action. Oh, I missed both of them. <gasps> oh my, oh my, oh my, oh my. Oh my, oh my, oh my. How stupid, David. All right. Polydamus number one is back for a little bit more. What the? What the heck? All right, we'll do this. Here's an Itala. We'll do this all day. We'll do the Atalas all day. Local butterfly. Super common. Didn't used to be. Where'd he go? There we go. There's an Atala. Great butterfly for a release. Nice and lethargic and slow. Make a great release video. <laughs> Check this out. As I'm uh, collecting, trying to catch some butterflies for my butterfly release, I've got uh, a pheromone, Cecid pheromone lure taped. Oh, there's this polydamus. These guys. Huh. Wow. Never mind. Well, there was a Cecid moth. Oh, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes, here he goes. 
Where is it? Got him. Polydamus swallowtail. Oh yeah. That's a cool bug right there. Let's see. All right. Here we go, guys. Polydamus swallowtail, gold rim. Will make a great addition to the release. Nice local swallowtail. Might be a little, uh, might have to get this guy in the cooler quick because they're a little rambunctious. I'll put him in with my cloudless sulfur, Statira, and Atala. We have a nice little variety going for our release here. So we've got 13 butterflies, guys. We've got 13 butterflies for the release. That's gonna be good enough. Uh, I'm not a superstitious guy, as you can tell, but I'm gonna get these guys in a cooler. I don't have ice, just a couple ice packs on the bottom, and they're in containers, and what you'll do is, you don't want them cold, you just want them cool and in the dark. And if, you're, if they're cool and in the dark, they're gonna chill, and uh, they're not gonna beat themselves up. And well, there's a Gulf artillery, but yeah, we're good guys. I'm gonna get going so we can get to our butterfly release and have a good time at the party.